Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve and graph this given rational inequality. And here is the very first step we are going to do. Make sure 0 is on one side of the inequality and we do indeed have a 0 on one side of this inequality. And now let's focus on the denominator, this part, x square minus 9. We can write this one as x square and 9 could be written as minus 3 square. So this represents the difference of two squares. So therefore we are going to use this fact, the difference of two squares. a square minus b square is always equal to a minus b times a plus b. So this could be written as x minus 3 times x plus 3. So far so good. Now let's focus on the numerator x square plus x plus 6 and we have copied it down right up here on the right hand side. Now we are going to calculate the discriminant of this quadratic expression x square plus x plus 6 and always remember that discriminant is equal to b square minus 4ac. So this in, in our case, a is going to be equal to 1, b is 1, and c is 6. So let's substitute these a, b, c values in this b square minus 4ac. That is going to give us 1 square minus 4 times 1 times c is 6. That is going to give us 1 minus 24 that is going to give us negative 23. So thus our discriminant turns out to be negative 23. And one more thing, just keep in your mind a quadratic is factorable if its discriminant is either 0 or a positive perfect square. And since this discriminant is negative 23, therefore this numerator is not factorable. So thus we can write this inequality as nicely we can write is like x square plus x plus 6 on the top is not factorable. We're going to just, just leave it alone and the denominator is could be factored to x minus 3 times x plus 3 which is greater than 0. And here I have wrote down in a neat way. And I am going to call this inequality as an I. I stands for inequality. And now in our next step we are going to find the critical values. To find the critical values we are going to set numerator and denominator both of them equal to zero. Just the numerator and these denominator, all of these one. So let's go ahead and do that one. The numerator is x square plus x plus six. Let's set it equal to zero. And the denominator is x minus three equal to zero. And the other one denominator is x plus three equal to zero. And for this quadratic part, we just calculated discriminant. It turns out to be negative 23 in our previous step. And by looking at this chart over here, our discriminant, since it is negative, so this tells us that we have no real solutions. So therefore, it has no real solutions. Now let's move on to x minus 3 equal to 0. That is going to give us x equal to positive 3. And here this is going to give us x equal to negative 3. So thus we got two critical points, x equal to 3 and x equal to negative 3. And here is our real number line and we are going to locate these critical points. So the first one is 
x equal to negative 3 I am just going to put this kind of dotted line on the top and for x equal to positive 3 I'm going to put a dotted line as well now let's put this x equal to 3 value in this inequality i and here is our inequality i let's go ahead and uh, replace x equal to 3 value let's look at at the denominator this is x if i replace this x by 3 minus 3 that is going to give us 0 and we know that whenever we have a 0 at the denominator this will be undefined just keep in your mind so therefore at this point x equal to 3 we are going to have an open circle now we are going to repeat the same process for x equal to negative 3 so this is what i wrote down put x equal to negative 3 in this inequality i this is right up here once again look at the denominator if i replace x by negative 3 and this positive 3 that is going to give us a 0 whenever we have a zero at the denominator this is going to become undefined as well so therefore we are going to put a open circle on negative three as well and one more thing these two critical values divide this real number line into three regions three parts the first one is on the left hand side of this negative 3 so I'm going to call this region A and this region between negative 3 and positive 3 I'm going to call region B and the region on the right hand side of this point 3 I am going to call region C and here is our next step we are going to test points in other words we are going to pick one number from each region and now let's focus on region a here I am going to pick one point let's pick x equal to negative 4 that looks a reasonable point and now we are going to put this x equal to negative 4 value in this inequality I and here is our inequality i and let's go ahead and replace x equal to negative 4 and this is going to become negative 4 square plus negative 4 plus 6 divided by negative 4 minus 3 times negative 4 plus 3 and we're going to check whether this statement is true or false and now let's simplify the numerator that is going to become 16 minus 4 plus 6 divided by negative 7 times negative 1 greater than 0 as we can see that our numerator is going to have a positive number we are just interested in the sign not the number so it's going to be a positive sign and divided by this negative and negative become positive sign as well it is greater than 0 and positive divided by positive is positive is greater than 0 that means this statement is indeed true so therefore this region a I am going to put true for this region a now let's focus on region B and we are going to pick one point and this time I'm going to pick x equal to 0 and now we are going to put x equal to 0 value in this inequality i which is right here let's go ahead and fill in the blank wherever we see x we are going to replace it by 0 so this is going to become 0 square plus 0 plus 6 on the top divided by 0 minus 3 times 0 plus 3 is greater than 0 let's simplify at the top that's going to become positive 6 divided by we got negative 3 times positive 3 is greater than 0 as we can see on the top our sign is positive and the denominator 
negative 3 times 3 is going to become negative 9 so it's a negative sign so once again positive divided by negative is going to give us negative is greater than 0 and we can see that this is statement is false so therefore our region B is going to be false and now let's focus on region C and in this region I am going to pick x equal to 4 point and let's put x equal to 4 value in this inequality i which is right here let's go ahead and replace x by 4 so this is going to become 4 square plus 4 plus 6 divided by 4 minus 3 times 4 plus 3 is greater than 0 on the top that is going to give us 16 plus 4 is 20 and 20 plus 2 is going to give us 26 divided by that is going to give us 1 times 7 which is greater than 0 so we got this is the, the top sign is going to be numerator has a positive sign and the denominator has a positive sign as well so that is going to give us positive is greater than zero which is a true statement so thus our region c is going to be true and here is our final step let's go ahead and share the region whichever is true a region is true so I am going to shade this part region A all right and region B is false we're gonna just simply ignore it okay so we're gonna rule this one out and let's look at region C which is true as well so I am going to shade that region as well and just over here since this is going on the left hand side so left hand side means that's going to be negative infinity and on the right hand side is going to be positive infinity so right now these two shaded region are disjoint so this left hand side this region a is in terms of interval notation is going to be negative infinity comma this is negative 3 with a parenthesis since this is 3 is excluded and on the right hand side this positive 3 with a parenthesis and then we have a positive infinity on this side and since we want to now combine this thing I'm going to put a u in between and here is our final product with this our nice looking uh, graph along with the interval notation right up here and this is our inequality notation and this is our set notation just keep in your mind that union when we write it in terms of inequality or set notation could be written as or this is a or statement thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye